Hey hey! Today I'm doing a empties video and I'm just warning you now, this is going to be a very long video because I have so many products to go through and I've been meaning to do this video for a few months so I've been collecting a lot of stuff but it's just a mini review of uh, all the products I've used up and whether I would buy it again or not so let's just get going right away and I'm going to start with oils I have so many different types of oils, i got body oils, i got hair oils, face oils, all these things but I'm just going to take them all in kind of one go uh, so first one is uh, Valida body oil uh, with evening primrose and this oil was like really over my expectations I had to smell it because I finished it so long time ago it's like a really lovely scent and I felt like this was making my skin so soft and I kind of it's kind of a cool bottle because it's a, it looks like cough medicine kind of bottles but I do really like them and I would definitely buy these again because they were like so nice and I had another two body oils uh, which are from Bad one is snow oil and the other one is a cellulite oil and I can say both of them were absolutely amazing I loved both of them Bad is such an amazing brand I will definitely buy them again I already have another snow oil so I'm using that at the moment it's so lovely they are just incredible so yes we we'll definitely buy these again then I have like a whole little collection of alchemy oils and this is the Amla High Remedy and also have Grapefruit High Remedy and I got two small ones of those ones that I've gone through and the big one from Amla these are amazing I love these little small ones because they're great for holidays and you're spring with you forever I really like both of these oils I'm also using at the moment the peppermint oil which is also lovely like it's hard to choose between them but I would definitely buy them again yes yeah, so I have two days two oils from Bare Origins one is the rose hip uh, oil and rose argan oil and both of these are like oh, so good like amazing and like the rose one is just like so refreshing so lovely and it's just that beautiful rose scent and then the rose hip is like really lovely especially if you have like kind of problem skin or like i put in my scalp it's just been really soothing and really nice so it's like two these incredible oils they have more like chocolate oils pure argan oil they've got a new one raspberry like which all are amazing and i'll just keep i just keep buying these over and over again i already got a new one of both of these and all other oils so they're like amazing so definitely yes would always buy these again then Wow, sometimes like I look at these on these products and I'm like, wow, blast from the past. Like I finished this, I don't know how long ago, uh, and it's just like a little sample from uh, Botanicals, a uh, deep piece organic body oil. And to be honest, I don't even remember this. It's like soothing and calming. It's like perfect after like baths. To be honest, it doesn't like have a thing in my memory where like, wow, this is so amazing. I had to buy it, so I probably wouldn't buy it, but. I do however love botanicals products uh, and then I have an argan oil from organic oils of heaven yes they do great oils as well however I have so many argan oils and also from brands that I'd rather support uh, it's absolutely adore and love so I would rather buy argan oil from them rather than just these lot they do amazing other oils but just argan oil I was I just would not buy this again so no and then this one angela langford nourishing eye oil i remember this was like really lovely first of all i, I like that it has like a roller on there and it's like a really refresh kind of oil like smell of like cucumber which i just found really refreshing for my eyes and I actually it's finished this for a while ago and i haven't ordered a new one but seeing this again i'm like actually i need to order one so i would definitely buy this again because also angela langford's products are amazing so yes definitely buy this again okay i think we're on a roll here because this is going really well however you don't know how much products are lying everywhere here and stuff i thought we'd move on to just face i start with face creams and clearly i've been using much more oils than creams lately because i only have two creams one is from Mossa and it's the Vitamin Cocktail Ultra Moisture. It's quite a new brand to me, like I've used a few of those products now and it's like they're really really lovely and it's great for my skin and I just really enjoy this. This has with sea buckthorn and raspberry and it was so lovely and also very quite affordable as well so yes I would definitely buy this again. 
Uh, then we have this from John Masters Organics Rose and Apricot Day Cream. It's actually the first skincare I tried from John Masters. And it's like a lovely bottle and the only problem is it's been really hard to get this out because you can see actually it's still a little bit left in here. It's like impossible to get out. The pump broke, like it's just not working. Then I'm trying to get it out, sweep it out, you know when you're trying to sweep it up with thing, then that broke, so that's lying in there somewhere. And I just like kind of force it out like this and it just doesn't want to come out, it's just stuck at the bottom. So I just feel like I didn't even get to use all my product, which is like really annoying. Um, it's love. It's a lovely scent, like rose and apricot. It's lovely. I just felt like a bit light, like I kind of want a bit more thicker and richer creams on my face. So I probably wouldn't buy it again. No. Then I have a little travel size of the Frankincense Hydrant Cream from Neil's Yard. And this is just amazing. I love all the frankincense products. They are so lovely. And that, this is a cream I'm talking about. It's like rich, it's lovely, it's just smooth, like, oh, so good. So I would definitely buy it. I need to get a full size of this actually. But also it's so lovely. I had like a little travel kit. And it's just so amazing to have it on the travels. And it's having those type of good, good products when you're traveling. It's so good. And then we have this little cute product is Rossi. And it's like organic kind of skin food, so it works for almost everything. Use it for your skin, use it for any like cracked, like really dry areas, and it's like everything. So it's just really, really nice, and it's really hard, and like you had to really work it into your body, but it's just really nice, and I really enjoyed it. And yeah, I think I would definitely buy it again. It's a really lovely product, and it's just really cute, and it lasted a long time. I can't believe I actually finished this one so quickly but raw lip balm with papaya and pineapple like, it smells amazing and I think that's why I finished it so quickly because it's like I haven't even had that long but it just went like I love raw lip balms they're amazing and I'll definitely get this again and then I have a white tea enriching facial mask from Neil's Yard again also another lovely product from Neil's Yard this oh, smells amazing but I love this face mask with like tea it was just so refreshing on my skin my skin really loved it and I would definitely get this again because it was like so lovely and I don't think I ever had anything negative to say about Nils Yard to be honest I love all their products they are so amazing then we have some micellar water and one is from Mossa and it's with raspberry vitamins really lovely it lasted really long and it's just an amazing product and it felt really refreshing and good on the skin. So easy to clean off makeup and everything with it. And it's really good and I would definitely get this again. Another great micellar water was from Madara. Again, I really enjoyed this. Yeah, I really love micellar water. I realised after these two products, they are really, really good. Yeah, I would get this again because both of these are quite affordable as well. So it's just really amazing. And then there's a toner from Turbless. And uh, yeah, this is really good. However, I don't think I'll buy it again because it just didn't... I didn't feel that, like I have other toners that I just feel like are so much better and amazing um, but it did do a good job and I just, it lasted a long time I remember but yeah I wouldn't buy it again I think then well, let's do more body Sukin so I have Sukin hydrating body lotion with lime and coconut and this is a, such a lovely smell it smells amazing oh, it smells really good it's really refreshing and it's perfect for like kind of summer and like that kind of holiday feel like with the lime and coconut scents it's just like so nice and again like Sukin is so affordable it's so lovely and I just really like that product so I would definitely buy this again and it's just such a great big bottle as well it's amazing and then there's the body balm from Botanicals and this one I can tell you I love love loved it's just I love all their rose products are oh, just so incredible they smell so lovely and it's like a wild rose body balm and see if I can still smell it yeah it smells so good and it's just for me it smells like autumn to be honest I think because I used it autumn they do really well with the rose scent I don't know what it is but it just oh, they get it perfect so lovely and like their balms is just like incredible in the body it's just like really soaks it in and just 
hydrate so well so i would definitely definitely get this again and then we have this hydrating body balm from lucky cloud i don't know i randomly ordered some stuff from lucky uh, lucky cloud for love lola this is with sweet orange and vanilla and it smells amazing and this was like when the wind's hair was just like the coldest and the worst and it was like my skin was just falling apart this did wonders like it was it's just super smooth and super rich and it's just like melted into your body and it was just so good and i'm definitely like i'm loving i have their lip balm at the moment as well which is just like incredible so it's like i love it i need to check out more of their products because these look really amazing and then we had a little sample again like a travel kit uh with wild rose beauty balm from nails yard again also rose uh a lovely scent and it just like works for absolutely everything i love products that it's just like multi-purpose use i will definitely buy it again and then there's a body polish by isla apothecary oh, this like seriously it's so amazing look if you haven't checked out this brand yet like you need to do it they are so amazing and like such gorgeous packaging lovely products and it's just like so incredible and this body polish is with coffee and cinnamon it just smells like so divine so lovely <sighs> like it's the best body polish i ever had it's like uh, i just wish it could be like a massive tub like this with this because like this finished way too quickly my skin felt amazing afterwards i just smelled amazing afterwards it's just like so incredible so i love this and I'm definitely getting more of this because it was like, oh, so amazing. And then we're on I Love Tickery. As we're already on I Love Tickery, I'm going to use another product of her. There's, which is the Relax and Recover Bath Salts. So this is like lavender. And they were like so relaxing, such a wonderful bath. And it's just again like such beautiful products. It's lovely. And um, they had another bath salt as well that I'm going to try out soon. Um, but yeah, I would definitely buy this again. Like, so incredible. Another botanical product and this is Deep Peace Mineral Soak of Soothing and Calming. Another wonderful bath product and I really enjoyed it, it's really nice. However, I kinda like I find these bottles are like a bit too small for baths because I'm just like I use it up in like no time. However, they are really lovely and it's really nice. But yeah, it's a lovely product, but I'm just not sure if I would actually buy it. Just because it's like it's so little and I feel like, oh, it's going to use it up in a couple of guys. And then I just have a little small, like, sample of the Green Beauty Potion, uh, which is just, like, amazing. It's my favourite bath product. It's so good. Uh, however, I have already two full sizes of these. One is almost finished and one is full. Like, I got ordered one and then I got one in Lovely Lola Beauty Box, like, right away. So I just had two. Uh, which is amazing but yeah i will always always keep on buying this i'm losing my voice i'm talking so much product la, 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 la. okay we are getting close to the end but the hair so first is a citrus and oily detangler from the masters i've mentioned these so many times <laughs> i think they are in my every empties and like lots of other videos um i finished this one i almost finished another one will i buy this again this is the question right now i have a little bit of issue with gem masters because they are like since they've been bought up and they feel like they just keep doing mistakes with like the adding edge ingredients and then saying manufacturing problem i just don't know how much i trust them at the moment and it's like i love their products i love the tangler i love their conditioner like it's just like amazing so I probably will buy it again, but I, right now I'm a bit hesitant and I'm actually doing a thing where like I'm just really trying out lots of new hair products and just in a way of trying to find my new favourite hair products. It's a process and it's taking a long time. I will. I think I'm going to write a blog post about it. I might even do a video about it. We'll see. I'll keep you posted. And then I have shampoo and conditioner from Bionaxium. And so Bionaxium, for those of you who are not Swedish and doesn't know about these, uh, they are like the biggest hairdresser brand in sweden i guess a bit like kind of feels like we'll soon or hodroni guy or something and they actually done a organic range so i got these samples for a while ago and i tried them and actually they're really good 
it kind of plays with like you know when it's like a big brand and they do like oh here's this we're gonna do like a little organic thing on the side it normally bothers me a lot and i'm just like Ugh. but then they're actually really good so i don't know if i would buy it because i don't know if i would spend that money on them rather than these lot but I don't know if I want to spend money. I'd rather find someone who's actually just wholly, truly organic all the way through the company. Uh, but if it's the way where actually I ending up finding these are one of the better ones for my hair, I probably would use them and I'll probably buy them again. But at the moment, I'm on a search and like, it's not going to happen. But at the moment, through my search, I don't know. So for the moment, I would say I probably wouldn't buy them again. And then my last product is from Less Is More, it's Elderflower Salt Spray. I never thought a little product like this would take me so long to go through and actually never really finished it and I just had to throw it out because it's like it's so old now. So I don't think I would buy it again because I wasn't in love with it and I don't use salt spray that much to be honest and if I do I know other ones that I probably would use rather. Uh, so Less Is More Elderflower Spray no i wouldn't buy it again and that was it guys that was all my products i've used up i have also i decided to do it in a, s a separate video uh where i'm going clearing out all my old makeup because i feel like there's so many things there as well and i thought it's going to be too long of a video and i thought that would be more interesting by itself that will be coming soon as well so keep yourself tuned to that but this is it for my empties video i hope you really enjoyed it if you do please give me a thumbs up make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my next video and in the meantime you can watch some more of my videos over here and i'll see you very soon hey guys